machine on or off, press the power button. Temperature is adjusted by using the up and down arrow buttons. Out of the box, the incognito unit will display four preset temperatures. Additional preset temperatures can be accessed with a few simple key presses. While the machine is off, press and hold both the up and down arrows, and then the power button. This will grant you access to the options menu. Once in this menu, use the up and down arrows to scroll through menu choices and the lock button to select your choice. To access the additional preset temperatures, look for the menu option Sets. Press the lock button to select this choice. You will then have the option of partial or full temperature sets. Press the power button when you have selected which temperature set you would prefer. The machine will then shut itself off. When you turn the machine back on with the power button, you will have access to all available temperatures in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. To switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius, press and hold the up arrow while the machine is turned off, then press the power button. This will then give you the option of selecting either Fahrenheit or Celsius temperature settings. Use the up and down arrows to select your choice and the power button to confirm your selection. Incognito units come with a lock feature which prevents unwanted changes from being made to your settings. To use this feature while the machine is on, press the lock button twice. The LED next to the lock button will illuminate and the power button will become the only functional button on the control panel. To unlock the machine, press the lock button twice. The LED next to the lock button will turn off and then changes can be made to the settings. There are two indicator lights on the control panel for the incognito. The smart tag light will illuminate when a magneto 2 has been correctly placed on top of the counter above the incognito. This signifies that the machine recognizes the magneto 2 and is ready for use. The pan detect light illuminates when an induction compatible pan is placed on top of the magneto 2. Both of these lights being illuminated indicates that the machine is ready to use. The Magneto 2 is an essential component of the Incognito system and serves several purposes. The small raised bump near the center of the Magneto 2 is the temperature sensor. It is essential that the pan remain in contact with the temperature sensor at all times in order to maintain accurate readings. The longer, thinner tab on the Magneto 2 contains a wireless communicator. This is what allows the temperature readings from the temperature sensor to be relayed to the incognito unit underneath the counter. When placing your chafing dish on the Magneto 2, do not cover the wireless communicator tab. This will interfere with communication capabilities and will hinder operation of the machine. The shorter, wider tab on the Magneto 2 has a red LED indicator light. This will begin to blink when the Magneto 2 is placed properly over the incognito unit, indicating the system is ready to use. The Magneto 2 features small rubber feet on the bottom to prevent slippage against the countertop surface. The top of the Magneto 2 features an anti-slip surface to prevent the chafing dish or serving ware from sliding off of the Magneto 2. If this anti-slip surface becomes excessively worn from use, it can be replaced. The Incognito and Magneto 2 are intended for buffet holding and warming purposes only, not for cooking. Do not place dishes hotter than 250 degrees Fahrenheit on top of the Magneto 2, as it may cause the Magneto 2 to melt. It is possible to program a Magneto 2 to remain at a specific temperature. While the machine is turned off and the Magneto 2 is placed on the counter above the machine, 
press and hold the down arrow followed by the power button. The display will read Tag Program Clear. If you wish to clear previous programming from the Magneto 2, press the lock button twice to select this choice. If you wish to program the Magneto with a specific temperature, use the up and down arrows to navigate to the desired temperature and press the lock button twice to confirm your choice. The display will read Tag Set. Then press the power button to exit this menu. When you turn the machine back on and place that specific Magneto 2 on the countertop, the machine will default to the temperature programmed on the Magneto 2. Trying to adjust the temperature from the control panel will not work. It will be overridden by the programming in the Magneto 2. Cooktech Incognito units come with a timer that must be enabled before it can be used. Once the timer has been enabled, the machine will count down the specified timer period every time a new pan is placed on the unit. To enable the timer while the machine is off, press and hold both the up and down arrow buttons and then the power button. This will bring you to the alternate options menu. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through menu choices until you find T-E-N which stands for Timer Enable. Press the lock button to confirm your choice. Then use the up and down arrows to select either on or off. Once you have made your selection, press the lock button twice to confirm your choice. You will then be returned to the Alternate Options menu. From the Alternative Options menu, you can also set your timer interval. Use the up and down arrow buttons until you find T-I-N-T, -T, which stands for Timer Interval. Use the lock button to select this choice. The default timer interval is 30 minutes. You can use the up and down arrows to add or subtract time from this default setting. Once you have selected your timer interval, Press the lock button twice to confirm your selection. You will be returned to the alternate options menu. Press the power button to turn off the machine. With the timer interval set and the timer enabled, the machine will count down the selected timer interval every time the machine is powered on with a Magneto 2 correctly placed above it and an induction compatible dish placed on the Magneto 2. If you wish to check and see how much time has elapsed, press the lock button once. The display will briefly indicate in minutes how much time has passed. When the timer expires, the machine will beep and the display will read done. The incognito buffet unit is easy to keep clean. Always turn off and unplug the unit prior to cleaning. Never immerse the incognito unit in water or put it in the dishwasher. The Magneto 2 can be cleaned with a mild soap or detergent and water. Do not place the Magneto 2 in the dishwasher. If something goes wrong with the incognito unit, the control box will display an error code and the machine will beep the corresponding number of times to indicate which error the machine is experiencing. See your owner's manual for a complete list of error codes. There are several troubleshooting techniques which can help avoid minor errors. For example, during installation, we recommend that the antenna side of each unit is on the same side of the counter as the antenna side of every other unit. This will help ensure consistency throughout the installation. If a machine is installed the wrong way around, simply remove the machine from the mounting track, rotate it 180 degrees, and reinstall it on the mounting track. You may also need to reposition the Magneto 2 on the countertop surface to ensure it is properly aligned above the incognito unit. 
The Magneto 2 has a read range that extends approximately 2 inches from the center of the unit in all directions. Simply slide the Magneto 2 around until the red LED begins to flash. This indicates that the machine recognizes the Magneto 2 and is ready to use. If after moving the Magneto 2 through the appropriate read range, the incognito unit still does not recognize the Magneto 2. There may be a problem with your installation height. Check to see that the top of the incognito unit is 4 cm from the top of the counter. Another common error deals with pans. If the incognito unit is not recognizing the pan you are using, that may be because the pan you are using does not have enough ferrous content to be induction compatible. A simple way to test your pan is to stick a magnet to the bottom of the pan. The better the magnet sticks, the better it will work with the incognito unit. Cast iron pans work very well. Do not leave the magneto tubes underneath high top heat as they can be damaged. Please note the temperature of the food may not be the same as the temperature on the display. The display shows the pan temperature. Many things can affect the temperature of the food, including what type of food is being held, whether the lid is on or off of the chafing dish, and other environmental concerns, including whether or not top heat is being employed. If you have additional questions, you can reach customer service by calling area code 312-563-9600, extension 1, or by emailing customerservice at cooktech.com. Thank you and enjoy your cooking!